Saturday, the 25th of August, 2018. It's 1806 p.m. here in the heart of Denmark in Copenhagen. And we are bringing you the finals of Swoop Freestyle 2018 here from this beautiful city, leg one of this year's events. A very warm welcome back. I'm international air sports presenter, Regan Tetlow, and I'm joined in the studio as always by Swoop Canada piloting expert, Andy Maggiotti. Welcome back, Andy. Good to be here, Regan. There's a great shot of one of our Charlie 9 helicopters, Lima Yankee, getting ready to start the finals. And let's have a look at the 18 athletes we've got here for you this afternoon. From South Africa, Chris Teague and Argentino, Franco Darman, Armando Fatiruso, Italy. Timmy Thompson from Denmark, Roberto Hernandez from Chile, and from Australia, Miles Cotman. Jeannie Bartholomew, USA, also USA, Ian Bobo, and New Zealand, Chris Stewart. We've got the brother of Armando, Mario Fatabuso from Italy, from Spain, Pablo Hernandez, and from France, Oriel Marquet. Cornelia Mihai, UAE, Travis Mills, USA, and also Denmark, Christian Weber. The final three, Venezuela, Claudio Cagnatio, USA, Kurt Bartholomew, and USA, Nick Batch. There's a whistle, Andy. The turn starts for the Argentinian, Franco Darman, blind man, Superman. Big turn coming here, Regan. He should have a ton of speed. Oh. Coming up a little bit short, but impressively, got a little bit out from under the canopy on the blind man but handled it as well as we've seen thus far this competition. I was expecting that kind of violent reaction that we've seen to the other side. Didn't happen, he kept it under control, trying to maintain that water contact, kept the wing overhead, led that Superman out for as far as he could. Unfortunately, came up a little bit short. Frank, I'll bring it up here. He is delighted to be back. He's gonna be happy with that jump with a 64.97. That is his best score so far. Well, the next athlete started off the qualifying round by getting himself on the pontoon. He was overjoyed. Christie, South Africa, Superman, blind man. Be interesting to see if he returns to uh, vertical before the blind man. Now, this was well played. He saved that blind man to the last minute, knowing he was going to stick it right down on the pontoon. Incredibly intelligent play there, Andy. A great job from Chris T, who also had an equally impressive first round in the qualifiers. Indeed, I, I agree with you, Regan. He lined this thing up in order to come onto the pontoon backwards, hoping for the style points that that would afford him. Stays on the pontoon. Not a lot of time spent in the blind man, but I think it's gonna work out for him just fine. Remember, 10 sorry, 10 percent for the approach. Each trick is worth 30 percent of the points, that's 16 total. And the landing, there's another 30 percent available. Watch what he does here. The Superman plays it strong. What is this guaranteed to be on there? Flips in the blind man. Incredible, really well played. I enjoyed his transition from Superman to blind man kind of split the difference. Didn't come all the way up vertical, but didn't hang butt too much either. What a great shot of the trick here and the move. Well, his torso was quite vertical, actually. Here he comes, Regan, over the trees. Boomerang. Oh, it's nice. Method. There's a method. Come on, he's be absolutely over the moon. This is the return of Ian Bobo, Andy. After suffering an injury last year, keeping the same trick or rendition of throughout the competition, smooth as the glassy, smooth as in glassy, just like the water. Just look at this now, watch the precision. Look at the concentration. Looks like he was just going to walk out of the water. The tricks were perfectly blended. I expected him to step right up onto the pontoon, but played it safe, sliding in. 
The messages coming through online on the live feed. Everybody's going crazy for Bobo. Ball ball. Here's another one that is a very, very technical transition from trick one to trick two, releasing both controls, having to regain control and put them in one hand. Oh, he nailed wow. it. Oh. oh! Listen to the crowd. Listen to the crowd. He's getting good at this, Andy. That Ghost Rider and getting the toggles again. He's nailing it every time. Losing contact with the water on the switchblade. Nonetheless, Regan, I'm very impressed. Came in with a decent amount of speed and power. Drops both controls with style. Regains them and puts them in one hand. And just Pushing. comes up a little bit short. Trying everything to get himself. Look at the ball. style. Watch this. Look Looks up. Regains control into one hand, keeping the wing overhead. Does lose water contact, as you said. And that will cost him, but wow, impressive nonetheless. Wow, it's all heating up here. This is brilliant, this is good. It's against, ladies and gentlemen, Irish and Timmy Thompson. It's still uh, the upper winds right now. It's a bit strong, so it's, again, hard to judge. It was good. Would you prefer jumping in these light winds instead of the he heavy downwind? Nah, I feel like I can manage heavy downwind, and uh, that gives me an advantage over the other guys, right? <laughs> Loves it. Thanks very much, Timmy. Bring in a 5, 3.0 for Andy. Looks even more impressive in slow motion, Regan. What a shame he was not able to maintain contact with the water. Danish competitors, Christy Weber and Timmy Thompson, back to back. Here's Weber with Lazy Boy Cowboy. Lazy Boy Cowboy. Oh, come on, guys! Another trick that lends itself to rhythm, lends itself to a hybridization from trick one to trick two. Coming into the move, you dug the legs in. Was that a tactical move to stay on the pong team? Yeah, uh, this time it was a uh, pretty good bit of setup. So just one more time and then uh, should be good. And you prefer these conditions over the heavy downwind? Uh, it's pretty good now. Yeah, it's better. Beautiful, well, great first score, 65.2. Good luck in next round. He is a world champion, he can do it. Nick Batch, Boomerang, Blind Man, and Demacchioli. Huge turn, Regan. You can expect a lot of speed and a lot of power coming out of this turn. Right between the Alpha Beta gates, there's your Boomerang, Blind Man, smooth as glass. Oh, yes. And he's on the oh, pot. Oh, oh, my. Oh, wow. wow. What did we just see? What did we just see? Oh. Lining up his heading with the pontoon no later than the middle of the second trick to be able to shut it down successfully. Looking for that stand-up landing in the middle of the pontoon. All that was missing was the stand-up. Over to you, Irish. He is an absolutely true professional, and it just proves pressure is only for tires. Nick Batch coming in with the, that amazing move. Was not happy with qualifications, but you can see by his smile on his face, he is happy with that. And it's 64.21. What more does he need to do? End of round one. What about these scores? I, I'm a little at a loss, Regan. I have to tell you, Kurt living on the success of that wing over because the switchblade was short-lived, asymmetric, and then didn't reach the pontoon at all. I did not expect to see as high a score as 63. Still to come, Pablo Hernandez, Travis Mills, and Claudio Cagnasso. Currently 10th place, Timmy Thompson. Nine, Mario Fataruso. Eight, Chris Stewart. Seven, Kurt Bartholomew. Six, Miles Cotman. Five, Nick Match. Four, Franco Darwin. Three, Christian Weber. Two, Chris Sieg. And one, Ian Bobo. But now the action is with Spain. Vamos, Pablito. Big turn, Regan. I expect a lot of speed and power here. Here's the tick jockey. Nice. nice. The it's Superman. nice. It's looking good. Can he stay on? Oh. The face of determination, Andy, as he slid towards the camera. A very well executed series of tricks. The tick jockey maintaining the balance and weight symmetry underneath the wing, not getting out from under the wing, which is crucial. Followed by the Superman. Had a long time to spot it. The Superman, also a great trick. When you see you're coming in hot, you can bury those feet, throw up a huge rooster tail in an effort to slow yourself down, but just too much speed to bleed off. Power, Pablo, they don't call you that for no reason. And you know what? With such a great score like that, you put yourself in number one position. Method Cowboy Travis Mills.
taking it a little bit easy on the technicality. A whole lot of power. Nice method. Nice. Long cowboy. Come on! Yes. yes. Travis right in the middle of the logo. Yeah. Yeah. Stays with the cowboy for a nice little while and shuts it down right in the middle of the pontoon. Here it comes, 73.97, always oh, just behind Pablo Hernandez with one more pilot still to come through on round one. A smooth transitional sequence, a big turn, a nice approach, maybe a little bit low. Ah. Uh, uh, Regan, initially it looked to me like he was a little bit low, but it didn't seem like he needed to dig out very much, I could be mistaken. He was into that cowboy a lot more quickly than I anticipated. I thought he might spend some time on the water, get himself oriented, but he went straight into that cowboy and then rode that method, milking it for everything he could, trying to get all the way to the podium, excuse me, the platform, didn't quite have enough gas. Trying to get to the podium as well. <laughs> yeah, we got that coming straight after the second round, the final round, where we're going straight to the awards ceremony to find out who takes the Copenhagen Championship. Let's see what we get. 59.78, that's a good score. Any added pressure coming into the finals with being in number one? Uh, nah, not really. We're here just to have fun. So we're just sending it. Now the action is on, it's round two. It is Cornelia Mihai, UAE. Over to you, Andy. In half breaks there, eyeing her approach, putting herself where she thinks she needs to be to successfully execute both tricks and get onto the platform. And her turn begins. Onto the approach. Ooh, doesn't quite get it all the way around. Ooh. Does make contact with the platform at the very end. The points, like, points for that, for the contact with the pontoon. Looks like she came out of her turn a little bit higher than she wishes she did. It's gonna be more difficult to execute that blind man without the speed you expect. Doesn't quite get it all the way around. Goes ahead and aborts that effort, looking to put down the Superman but that platform was coming up fast. Just missed the pong tune, but overall, happy with your performance here at Soup Freestyle 2018. Uh, well, it's all a learning experience. This is the first time I'm trying the, the blind man in any competition, so uh, I'm pretty happy I, uh, I went for it. I think it's time to start bigger tricks. All right, thank you very much. 61.28 starting us off. She brought a 4.6.5, 107.64 is her final score. 107.64. All right, Andy. Method Cowboy, a more conservative sequence from Chris, who had a great first run. He also had a great first run in the qualifiers, but not a great second. Let's see if he can get a little more consistency here. It's a good start, Andy. He's on angle. He's on there. He's in. He's got to be happy with that. Oh, Chris Teague brings it home for South Africa. One, two. The pontoon, Andy. I'm curious to see the replay, Regan. It, I thought he was going to have too much power being too close to the pontoon. <laughs> Interestingly, looks like he did the cowboy with his toggle in his hand. Big turn, Regan. He should have a ton of power here. Boomerang wing over. <laughs> Keeps that foot there. Yeah. Man, he wanted that. He wanted to stick that on the pontoon. We saw Kurt in round one really rewarded for the wing over. Here's your boomerang. There's your wing over. Ooh, I'm not quite sure if he made contact with that end cell. We'll have to see it again. Oh, it looks centimeters off the water. He'll still get a ton of credit for it. There's a blind man. Is he on the pontoon, Andy? Can he stop the momentum? Oh! Not quite, but he'll receive high marks anyway. 
difficult to tell if he was able to get the hand on the water for the cowboy. He does continue the trend of doing the cowboy from the 180 degree reverse harness orientation. There it is. D definitely gets the hand in the water. And it looked quite good actually in that replay. Let's see if he gets it all the way around. Maybe not quite. Does everything he can to slow it down, but just comes off the edge in the end. We'll get dinged on the finer details, Regan, but overall I think it was a, a good run. Let's see if he can get these style points. Chin up, looking at the canopy in transition. Oh! He it the judges instead! He brings up from last year as well, his famous move, and he's on a button! Fantastic. Oh, the local crowd are going crazy, Andy! Fantastic. That was his trademark signal he had from last year in the championships. Boom! Here it comes, watch this. Starts with the lazy boy, right into the Ghost Rider, points at the judges, hands back on the controls. That leaves you at 69.8, so a great score there. Happy with your overall performance here at Sweet Freestyle? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. New canopy and everything, so I'm pretty happy. Cotman from Australia is bringing us a lazy boy switchblade. Into his turn, into his approach. A little bit offline, Lazy Boy, Switchblade. Oh, he pulls a blind, wow. he pulls a blind. Two out of two for the Australian onto the pontoon, Andy. Whoa. Regan, that is the best recovery we've seen from being off heading with the raft, but successfully bringing it back online. There's your Lazy Boy, there's your Switchblade. He is way off. You get a better appreciation of it with the head-on angle, but he is a good 30 degrees off there. <laughs> Just flips. Somehow, some way, Barrel rolls himself back onto the pontoon. Here's his turn, right down the pike. Here we go. He's gonna be on the platform. He's gonna be on the pontoon. Oh, is that gonna count as an on the pontoon landing? Flying his way onto the pontoon, not to be denied. Well, we know what he needs to do, Andy, if he wants to win this. He needs over 70 points to get that championship. Needed the landing of the pontoon to get the score he wanted and put him in the position he wanted. Nick, what happened? Just dropped a leg, didn't get it? Yeah, I caught a left leg somewhere weird there at the end. and. Uh, Came up about a couple meters short. I set up deep, I had plenty of power, but it got a little squirrely at the end. Overall performance here at Swoop Freestyle, happy? Uh, a lot happier yesterday, um, doing okay though, but uh, gonna change my moves up for San Diego. Don't worry, we got San Diego. Thank you very much, Nicholas. You heard it there from Nick Max. San Diego is now in his sights. 127.49 is his total. Roberto Hernandez comes out. Oh, he's high. Wow, Regan, I, I did not expect that. It looked like he was in a good position and then just suddenly leveled off a little high, missing his uh, initial point of contact with the water. Salvaged it as best he could and actually had a quite smooth blind man. Right there, it looked like he was on the water, but just was a little bit high. Oh, it's unfortunate because the rest of the sequence was pretty smooth. Down the side we'll off the to, We'll have to have Irish ask him what exactly occurred there. Switchblade. Ghost Rider, a double clap. <laughs> and a stylized 360 backspin onto the raft. That has to be enough to put himself in the lead. Andy, what we just saw from Pablo Nani from Spain, the switch played Ghost Rider with a double clap onto the pontoon. That has to take him past 134 points set by Christian Weber from I would Denmark. Have, I would imagine it would. A beautiful switch played held forever. A straight off hand, double clap on the Ghost Rider. Clap, clap. 
and a 360 degree backspin onto the raft. My goodness, what else can you ask for? Pablito, Pablito Power making his way to the harbor. The story right now is in the lead. Christian Weber, 1 3 4 and change. Pablo Hernandez needed over 60 points to take. The current lead is still to come. Oh, 62.44 puts him into the lead. Can Travis Here comes snatch Travis. it out of his hand? Boomerang, wing over. Can he go? Trying to walk on water, comes up a little bit shy. Wow, oh, Andy, the story now we've got to tell is Pablo has snatched the top place out of the hands of the local talent. The only person who could steal this away, Travis Mills, with that boomerang wing over. Actually, Claudio Cagnasio, let's not forget, with a 75, could still do it as well. Travis with a beautiful approach, beautiful boomerang, does not have simultaneous contact with body and canopy for the wing over. That's going to cost him, and of course, comes up a little bit short. A young skydiver, I've watched him grow all these years, always impressive. Humble, friendly young guy. Travis Mills coming in with a 68-72. As Travis Mills jumped ahead, I think he might have done it. Travis Mills, I think, might have jumped above Pablo. 68.72, Andy. Wow, I'm I'm beside myself here, Regan. Over to me, guys. Travis, Travis Mills. Pablo came in with a great jump. He, he went number one. You've officially gone number one at Super Freestyle. Oh, yeah. It's amazing, man. What a feeling. What a feeling. We've got Claudio coming in now. Claudio needs over 75 to take you off top spot. You, you think you're going to do it? it? He better nail it. Let's see. You heard it here, Claudio. Let's put our eyes to the sky. 142.69 from Travis. Let's quickly look at the leaderboard. See what that has done. It means now we have Travis Mills in the lead. 142.69. Pablo Nandis, 136.8. Wow, Claudio Cagnasio could still do it with 77 points, Andy. Claudio going for a Cowboy Superman. But Regan, I have to tell you, I'm extremely, extremely surprised. This is it, the final run of the championships. First place right now, Travis Mills, USA, second place. Spain, Pablo Hernandez, that's nice. This is good as well, he's on the butt too. Oh. To the center. Whoa! Has Travis Mills done enough to drink the championships? Has Claudio got more than 77 points? Wow! Beautifully executed. Pablo had it. Travis Mills came and took it out of his hand. Now Claudio could do the same if he can score a massive 77 points. Oh, doesn't quite get the fingers in the water. Maintains water contact throughout the Superman. It's not as laid down as perhaps he would like, but does bring it to a stop right in the middle of the raft, just like the judges want. Hard to know, the judges watch it in real time. They may have seen his hand touch the water. It's down to the wire. It doesn't get any tighter than this. What's it gonna be, Andy? Has the American Travis Mills done enough? Or has the Venezuelan just ripped it out from under him. We're about to find out. Over to you, Irish. Thank you very much. We're here with our eyes on the screen to see if Claudio got over 77. I've got Travis here with me. Claudio's coming up now. He's got a big smile. He knows he's done his best and nearly done enough to get to take it out. Scoreboard's coming up now. Travis, how are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing, man. Let's see it. 69.48, Travis Mills is Swoop Freestyle Champion 2018 Copenhagen. <laughs> Travis, Travis, come here to me. How do you feel, buddy? Uh, what a dream come true, man. It's my third year here, first time on the podium. Feels pretty amazing, man. I'm on cloud nine right now. Missed it last year and came back and took it out. You must feel amazing. Oh, amazing, man. Did some hard training this year and it paid off. Super stoked. Want to say hi to Alexia. I miss you, babe. Wish you were here. Beautiful, mate. We're going to go back to the studio and get ready for the medal ceremony. Wow, what a tense moment that was, building up the tension for that final result. Travis Mills is absolutely over the moon, Andy. Travis Mills snatching victory from the jaws of defeat after Pablo Hernandez laid down what we thought was a virtually unbeatable run. Travis Mills comes in with his boomerang wing over, winning the hearts of the judges.
Oh, wow, let's keep our eyes for a moment on the reactions of these champions. Claudio Cagnacio could not do it. Christian Weber was there at the top, holding it for Copenhagen. Pablo came in, he needed more than 60 points. He blew it away, and the final result, Fifth place, Franco Diamond, 128.53. Fourth place, Claudio Cagnacio, 128.26. Third place, Christian Weber, 134.31. Second, Pablo Hernandez, 136.80. And Travis Mills, 142.69. Andy. Claudio Cagnasso giving a valiant effort in his final run to get the score needed to put him on the podium. But despite his best efforts coming up a little bit short, Hometown hero Christian Weber, stoked to be on the podium here in Copenhagen. Wow, that's it, that's it from there. We're gonna go down to Irish with the award ceremony. Thank you very much for the award ceremony for Swoop Freestyle 2018 Copenhagen. In third place, the local legend, Christian Weber! In second place, Pablo Hernandez! And the winner of Sweet Freestyle 2018 Copenhagen, please give it up for Travis Mills! Incredible reaction there from Travis Mills as he takes that gold medal. And for your winner, Travis Mills, please be upstanding for the national anthem of the United States of America. One last time, people of Copenhagen, people at home, please give it up for your Swoops Freestyle 2018 champion, Travis Mills! Freestyle FEI World Championship 2018 Copenhagen is wrapped.